the least squares method is a procedure for finding the estimated regression equation. Uh, remember the estimated regression equation is y hat equals b naught plus b1 times x. Now to get the estimated regression equation, we need two things. We need b naught and b1, where b naught is the intercept and b1 is the slope. So the least squares method says we choose values for b naught and b1 that minimize the sum of y minus y hat squared, where y are the observed or actual values of y, and y hat are the estimated or predicted values of y. Now the term least in least squares method is there because we're minimizing. And the term squares is there because we're squaring. Now, when we choose values for B naught and B1 that minimize the sum of Y minus Y hat squared, we get a formula for B1 equal to the sum of X minus X bar times Y minus Y bar over the sum of x minus x bar squared. And we get a formula for b naught equal to y bar minus b1 times x bar. Now remember that x bar is the mean of x and y bar is the mean of y. So let's take a look at an example. Suppose we have some data for x and y. The values of x are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the values of y are 3, 7, 5, 11, 14. Now let's start by creating a scatter diagram for this data. In our scatter diagram, we put the values of the independent variable x on the horizontal axis, and we put the values of the dependent variable y on the vertical axis. And all we do is simply match up the points. So we match up one and three and put a point there, two and seven, put a point there, three and five, put a point there, four and 11, put a point there, and five and 14, and we put a point there. Now, uh, in the least squares method, we're looking for a line that fits through this data. So the line is going to look something like this. This is our estimated regression line, y hat. So to get the equation of this line, we need to find the slope b1 of the line and the intercept b0 of the line using the formulas we see here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a couple of columns to our table to calculate b1 and b0. So our first column is going to be x minus x bar. x bar is equal to 3. So 1 minus 3 is negative 2. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 
3 minus 3 is 0, 4 minus 3 is 1, and 5 minus 3 is 2. Now this column, since it's the deviations about the mean, should sum to 0. And we see that it does. Our next column is y minus y bar. The mean of y is equal to 8. 3 minus 8 is negative 5. 7 minus 8 is negative 1. 5 minus 8 is negative 3. 11 minus 8 is 3. And 14 minus 8 is 6. And again, this column, column is the deviations about the mean of y. It should sum to 0. And we see that it does. Now our next column is the product of the previous two columns. So this column is going to be x minus x bar times y minus y bar. Negative 2 times negative 5 is 10. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. 0 times negative 3 is 0. 1 minus 3, 1 times 3 is 3 and 2 times 6 is 12. And this column sums to 26. Our final column is the denominator of b1, x minus x bar squared. So negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 1 squared is 1. 0 squared is 0. 1 squared is 1. And 2 squared is 4. This column sums to 10. Uh, so the value of b1 is equal to. 26 over 10, which is equal to 2.6. Now that we have B1, we can calculate B0. Um, so Y bar is 8. So we have 8 minus 2.6 times X bar, which is 3. And we get 8 minus 7.8, which is equal to 0 0.2. So our estimated regression equation is y hat equals 0 0.2 plus 2.6 times x. Now, the interpretation of B1 the slope of the estimated regression equation, uh, we can think of it the same way we think of the interpretation of any slope. The slope is how much y changes when we increase x by one unit. However, we don't, <clears throat> we don't have y here, we have y hat. So we interpret the slope here as the predicted change in y when x increases by one unit. So what we can say is that when x increases by one unit, y is predicted to increase by 2.6. Now an intercept is the value of y when x is equal to zero. But again, we don't have y here, we have y hat, the predicted value of y. So our interpretation of b naught, the intercept, is that when x is equal to zero, y is predicted to be 0 0.2. Those are the interpretations of our uh, two coefficients, b0 and b1. Now we can use the estimated regression equation to predict the value of y for a given value of x. Uh, so, so, so suppose you were asked to predict y when x is equal to 6. 
Now, all you would do here is simply plug in six into the estimated regression equation. So you'd have y hat is equal to 0 0.2 plus 2.6 times 6, which is 0 0.2 plus 2.6 times 6 is going to be 15.6. So our prediction for y is 15.8. So when x is equal to 6, y is predicted to be 15.8. Um, now our prediction here should be, um, our prediction here should lie on the y hat line, the estimated regression line when x is equal to 6. So if we move up from x equals 6, we'll see we're about there, we're at about 15.8. So our predictions for y are on the estimated regression line.